Welcome to this overview of the GCSE Media Studies course. This is an introductory video looking at an overview of the entire GCSE Media Studies course we will be doing. There are three components, or if you like parts, to the entire course. These are as follows. Component 1. Exploring the media. This is a written examination, an hour and a half duration, and is worth 40% of the entire qualification. Section A. Exploring media language and representation. And this is worth 45 marks. Learners must study the following media forms and products set by WJEC. Magazine front covers, Pride, the November 2015 issue, and GQ, the July 2016 issue. Film posters, marketing, The Man with the Golden Gun, and Spectre. Newspaper front pages, The Guardian, 4th of September 2015 issue, and The Sun, 18th of December 2013 issue. Print advertisements, Quality Street, 1956, and This Girl Can, 2015. This section assesses media language and representation in relation to two of the following print media forms, magazines, marketing film posters, newspapers or print advertisements. We will need to study all of them as any two can turn up in the exam itself. There are two questions in this section. Question 1 will assess media language and will require analysis of one of the products set for study in this section. Learners refer to an unannotated copy of the product in the examination. Please note that you may need to refer to relevant background information studied on the course. In other words, you have to take in a copy of the products you study without your notes on them. Question 2 will assess context and representation in relation to a different media form from that assessed in question 1. Part A will assess knowledge and understanding of context in relation to one set media product. Part B will require a comparison of an unseen resource with a set product in the same media form. This question requires an extended response. Learners are required to refer to unannotated copies of these set products in the examination for analysis and comparison. These must be provided by the centre at the start of the examination to enable centres to verify that all copies of the set products used in the examination are unannotated, i.e. they haven't got student notes on them. This section will assess knowledge and understanding of media language and representation in relation to two of the media forms studied for this section. Magazine front covers, film posters, newspaper front pages or print advertisements. Learners will analyse two types of resource material. Set products. Learners are required to refer to unannotated copies of their set products in the examination both questions 1 and 2. Unseen resource. In question 2, an unseen resource in the same media form as one of the set products will be set for comparison. Section B. Exploring media industries and audiences. And this is worth 35 marks. This section assesses two of the following media forms. Film, newspapers, radio or video games. It includes one step question on media industries and one step question on audiences. In this section, learners will develop knowledge and understanding of key aspects of media industries, including ownership, funding, regulation, production, distribution and technology. In addition, learners will also consider relevant aspects of media audiences, such as targeting and categorization, consumption and use, and theoretical perspectives on audiences. Learners must study the following media forms and products set by WJEC. Newspapers, The Sun, Radio, The Archers, Film for Media Industries Only, Spectre, and the video game will be Pokemon Go. The focus of Section B is on the set products as examples of the related media industries and audiences. For this section, learners should not engage in analysis of the textual features of the set products, but should study them as examples of the relevant industry and audience issues that they illustrate. The online presence of these media products provide a key way into both industry and audience issues. 
Newspapers. The Sun. Learners should have knowledge and understanding of The Sun as an evolving media product in terms of the relevant newspaper industry and audience issues it illustrates. In order to develop this awareness, learners should consider one complete print edition of The Sun chosen by the centre and selected key pages from The Sun website, including the home page and at least one other page. It is the responsibility of centres to monitor the content of these products and ensure it is appropriate for their learners. Radio. The Archers. Learners should have knowledge and understanding of The Archers as an evolving media product in terms of the relevant radio industry and audience issues it illustrates. To inform their understanding of The Archers as an example of contemporary radio industry and contemporary radio audiences. Learners should have an awareness of the historical significance of the program in terms of the evolution within the radio soap opera genre and how it has changed in response to industry and audience demands. In order to develop this awareness, learners should consider one complete episode of The Archers, chosen by the centre, and selected key pages from The Archers website, including the home page and at least one other page. Film Spectre Film must be studied in relation to media industries only. Learners must study Spectre only in terms of the context of cross-media study which explores the convergence of media platforms and technologies, and in the context of the study of media industries. In order to develop an awareness of Spectre as a contemporary mainstream film, learners should consider select key pages from the Spectre section of the official James Bond 007 website, including the home page and at least two other pages chosen by the centre. Extracts from the film must only be considered in relation to the industry issues exemplified. Video games. Pokemon Go. Learners should have knowledge and understanding of Pokemon Go as a contemporary augmented reality game in terms of the relevant video games industry and audience issues it illustrates. In order to develop this awareness, learners should consider selected key pages from the Pokemon website, including the home page and at least two other pages chosen by the center. Extracts from the game may be considered to illustrate industry and audience issues. Component 2. Understanding media forms and products. This is a written examination of an hour and a half of duration and is worth 30% of the qualification. Section A. Television. Crime drama. This section involves a detailed study of a specific television genre. Television genres have distinct social and cultural significance in terms of their particular representations of the world, their financial importance to the television industry, and their popularity with television audiences. Each set option involves study of a complete episode from a contemporary program, i.e. a new program, and one 10 minute extract from a program produced in the past. This is designed to enable learners to develop a knowledge and understanding of how genres change over time. Learners will thus be able to explore how media language, representations, messages and values, themes and issues in the specific crime dramas reflect the key social, cultural, political and historical context in which they are produced. The complete episode set will also exemplify industry issues and emerging contemporary developments in television in the forms of online broadcasting. This provides opportunities to address key aspects of media audiences including targeting consumption and appeals. So for section A, which is television, there will be one question on either media language or representation, which will be based on an extract from one of the set television program episodes to be viewed in the examination. Reference to relevant context may be required. And then there will be one question on media industries, audiences or media context. We will be doing option one, which is crime drama, and we will be studying Lufa, Series 1, Episode 1, 2010, BBC production, plus a 10 minute extract from The Sweeney, Series 1, Episode 1, 1975, which was originally broadcasted by ITV. Remember, this involves a study of a complete episode of a contemporary program and one 10 minute extract from an episode of a program produced in the past. The extract is selected by the centre, must be at least 10 minutes in length and, in conjunction with the complete episode, must enable learners to explore all aspects of the media theoretical framework, which includes the following main areas. How the complete episode and the chosen extracts reflect the society and culture of the time in which they were made. What the complete episode and extract suggest about the representations of gender, ethnicity and age. 
and finally key aspects of the broadcasting industry along with key audience issues. Luther allows learners to study an example of a contemporary crime drama which incorporates ethnic diversity. It uses familiar crime conventions to raise contemporary issues whilst at the same time extending and varying them. It contrasts in the representation of gender, in particular with the Sweeney, whose conventions reflect a 1970s interest in blending action with police procedure. The two series demonstrate different approaches to public service broadcasting, one publicly funded and the other commercially funded. Section B. Music. Music videos and online media. One question on either media language or representation, reference to relevant context may be required, and one question on media industries, audiences or media contexts. Section B requires a detailed study of music through focusing on two contemporary music videos and the online social and participatory media surrounding the artists. In addition, learners study one music video from the past to enable learners to develop their understanding of media language and how representations reflect and are influenced by relevant contexts. Music video, contemporary music videos. We will be studying Taylor Swift, Bad Blood and Pharrell Williams, Freedom. Areas to be studied. In-depth study covering all areas of the theoretical framework, which includes media language, representation, media industries, audiences, and media contexts. Music videos from the 1980s and early 1990s. We will be studying Duran Duran, Rio, which is 1982. Areas to be studied. Media language, representation, and media contexts. Online media. We will be looking at Taylor Swift and Pharrell Williams' websites individually. Areas to be studied. This will be an in-depth study covering all areas of the theoretical framework. Media language, representation, media industries, audiences and media contexts. The role of social and participatory media in relation to an artist's website will be studied. Reference should be made to at least Facebook and Twitter, although other social and participatory media such as Instagram, Pinterest and YouTube may be considered. These can be accessed through each of the artist's websites. And then finally we have component 3, which is creating media products, which is known as a non-exam assessment and is worth 30% of the qualification. For all intents and purposes, this is the coursework. This involves an individual media production for an intended audience in response to a choice of briefs set by WJEC. Applying knowledge and understanding of media language and representation. In this component, Learners must apply their knowledge and understanding of media language and representation to an individual media production for an intended audience in response to a choice of briefs set by WJC. The set production briefs will change every year, requiring learners to create a production in a different genre, style and or for a different intended audience. The briefs will be released annually on 1st of March in the year prior to assessment and will be published on the WJEC EDUCAST website. Task-specific indicative content will be issued each year with the non-exam assessment briefs. In other words, they will tell us exactly what we need to do. Production briefs will always be set in the following media forms. Television, magazines, film marketing and music marketing. The briefs will always specify the intended target audience as well as other key requirements such as genres and style. Learners will develop a response to their chosen brief by creating a production aimed at a specific intended audience. The following media forms and frameworks will be formed the basis of all set briefs. Television. Create a sequence from a new television program. Advertising and marketing. Music. Create a music video to promote a new artist or band. Advertising and marketing. Film. Print based marketing material for a new film. Magazines. Create a new print magazine. In order to ensure that an undue amount of time is not spent on the production, all phases of the production, aims, research and planning and the production itself should be completed over the period of no longer than 12 weeks. Statement of Aims. Learners must complete a brief outline of their aims for the media production that must be submitted with the production. 
This will be assessed with the production and will enable the learners to explain the ways in which they will apply knowledge and understanding of media language and representation to the production and target the intended audience. This is a compulsory element of the non-exam assessment and learners must complete the statement of aims in section B of the cover sheet using approximately 250 words. A template is provided on the WJEC Educast website for guidance. Research and planning. Learners will undertake prep work to develop their understanding of media language, representation and audience in relation to their intended production that must be guided, monitored and authenticated by the teacher, i.e. me. This research and planning will not be assessed separately but learners will be assessed on the production outcomes that result from these stages. The research may include 1. Analysis of the use of the media language and similar products to identify the codes and conventions of the particular genres and forms. In other words, analysing how other similar products to the one you want to create are constructed and made to look like what they are. Two. Analysis should focus on how specific techniques such as layout, composition, camera work, editing and sound are used to create meaning and the way in which representations of events, issues, individuals and social groups as appropriate are constructed. You must also consider how choice of elements of media language influences the meaning too. 4. Research into how media products are aimed at and target audiences, including analysis of the techniques used to appeal to and engage an intended audience. 4. Secondary research, which means internet-based research appropriate to GCSE and to audiences to develop understanding and support analysis. And finally, primary audience research such as focus groups prior to completion of the production work, i.e. giving questionnaires out to our fellow students to ask them their views on your work. Learners will also plan their production work carefully to ensure that they apply their knowledge of media language and representation to the media production. The planning work may include 1. A pitch or treatment for the production, in other words, a brief outline of what you intend to do. 2. A project plan including a timeline and a planned use of, for example, resources or equipment. And 3. Planning documents appropriate to the forms, products undertaken such as a step outline on a shot list, a storyboard, a script, draft designs, mock-ups of composition and layout or whatever it is that's relevant to the uh, media form that you've chosen to do. Component 3 is internally assessed and externally moderated and that basically means I the teacher mark it and then I have to send off my marks to be externally moderated by the exam board themselves and they can either agree or disagree with the marks I've given. The total number of marks available is 60. There are 10 marks available for statement of aims, 20 marks available for creating a media product that meets the requirement of the set brief and 30 marks for creating a media product for an intended audience. Learners must submit 1. A media production, whatever it is, the magazine or the TV clip or whatever it is. A statement of aims for the production outlining the ways in which knowledge and understanding of media language and representation will be applied in response to the brief and how the intended audience will be targeted. And finally, a completed cover sheet available on the WAJC Educast website. Section A must be completed by the learner detailing key aspects of the work, including the software used in its construction and crediting any non-original music used and non-assessed participants who assisted with the production. Learners and teachers must sign to authenticate the work at three stages as detailed above. Section B is to completed by the teacher detailing their assessment comments and the marks awarded. Research and planning work should not be submitted, but learners and teachers are required to authenticate the process on the cover sheet. And that's it, a complete overview of the course itself. The next videos will show you possible ways in which to tackle each of the two exams you must complete. Any questions, let me know, of course.